All right, Regan, you are now to remove the clothes you've been wearing on your voyage out. My husband and I run a tourism operation called Louisa's Walk. Basically, it's a piece of strolling theatre. Louisa's Walk is the, uh, the story of an Irish convict woman who was transported out here for a very petty crime, stealing a loaf of bread, actually, for seven years, and she was sent to the Cascades Female Factory in South Hobart. Uh, she did survive, but the conditions were very harsh within this prison, and that's the story we tell on Louisa's Walk. Very pretty, I'm sure. Now put it with the rest of your clothes. It'll be kept for you in safekeeping and given back to you at the end of your sentence. <laughs> Do it now! <laughs> We're both fascinated with the, the history of this part of Hobart. It's got the first European settlement of, of this place. It's the rivulet first, the Hobart rivulet, the female factory and the brewery. So we decided to very much focus on the female factory but incorporate both of those other two things with it. And as soon as we found the stories in the female factory, we couldn't go past that, uh, wanting to, to dramatize that story as a way of hitting it home to people, what actually happened to these people. It took a lot of research to come up with the right story, with all the elements that we needed. But once we found that the Raja quilt, which is featured in Louisa's Walk, still exists and is housed in the National Gallery in Canberra, we decided to hang our story on one of the women that came on that voyage in 1841 on the ship, the Raja, which is where the Raja quilt was made. We start outside the iconic Cascade Brewery, which is probably one of the most easily identifiable buildings in Hobart. Louisa is quite a feisty character and quite often at the beginning of Louisa's walk we had a few giggles and even laughs. We then wander down through the Cascade Gardens and we enact the scenes of what happened to Louisa along the way. We end up at the sandstone walls of the Cascade's female factory. As soon as they enter the female factory they know that they're in a prison and there is some serious stuff going on. It's also very educational. It's also very emotional. At the end of Louisa's walk, very often there'll be tears. Help of the helpless Lord. We get people emailing us many weeks, even months after they've been on Louisa's walk, telling us that they still remember the story.